Welcome back to Civil Engineers YouTube channel. In this short video lecture, I will guide you for what is the minimum size of steel bar used for reinforcing bar in slab and beam. Okay, this is the topic for today. That what is the minimum diameter or size of steel bar using an RCC slab and floor beam, or you can say plinth beam. So this is the topic for today. If you are new on this channel, so you may like this video and subscribe the channel. If you have already subscribed the channel, so you may like this video. Let's get started, guys. As you can see, guys, this is RCC slab. And this one is beam. Remember, guys, for normal residential building, if there is RCC slab or beam, so the size of the or the diameter of bar should not be less than diameter of steel bar should not be less than 12 millimeter 12 millimeter guys you can see this is rcc slip if you see here we have main bars and distribution bars main bars we are placing on the length direction this is length and this is its width so when we place the steel reinforcement on length direction guys you can see this one so that is called the second one main bars main bars are placing on lengthwise and distribution bar distribution bars are placed on widthwise okay remember guys here the main bars should be placed should be placed at the bottom okay and distribution bars should be placed on the top of the main bars because when the load comes on the top of the rcc slab so the distribution bars transfer the load to the main bars and main bars distribute the load on the beam and beam transfer to the column and column transfer to the footing okay so this is a uh, load transfer mechanism in rcc slab okay so guys these are very important details which i have discussed so 12 millimeter minimum for this next guys here the spacing spacing of main bars and distribution bars should not be more than seven inches center to center if there is main bar or distribution bar that's why uh, uh, because if you see here this is main bar this is distribution bars so if the spacing we increase when we increase the spacing so therefore it uh, it cannot support the structure load uh, which we applied on the top of the rcc slab so therefore seven inches is okay so don't uh, go more than this otherwise you will face more problems because here we have bending moment also negative bending moment positive bending moment to resist negative positive bending moment we are providing extra steel rods etc or bent up bar you can say next one guys you can see this is plinth beam or floor beam so first of all the size of size of beam should not be less than 9 by 12 inches with minimum 5 bars as you can see 3 at the bottom 2 at the top because upper portion you can say upper portion is called compression zone and bottom one is 
tension zone so in tension zone we should provide we should provide maximum numbers compared to its upper portion because concrete is weak and tension so therefore we are providing maximum numbers and it's strong and compression so therefore you can use uh, two numbers uh, and at the bottom we have three numbers so therefore this is very important but remember guys same for beam don't use less than 12 millimeter this is minimum diameter for plant beam or if there is floor beam this is very important to know about these important technical terms which i've discussed at the front of you that what is the minimum size of straight bar used in reinforcing bars and slab and beam you can see this is slab and this is beam so minimum diameter is 12 millimeter if you are using 10 millimeter etc so you will face more problems because it cannot support the structure load next when you are using 12 millimeter die of steel rod so the ties uh, the the tie die you should use uh, minimum 8 millimeter okay if you are using 10 millimeter here so uh, you can't use the 8 millimeter so therefore this is very important thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye